Right, so we went up the drags last week and was hoping to get it into 11s with the truckster motor in it. But unfortunately the track was really busy, there was a lot of breakages and oil downs and we only got two runs so we didn't really have time to mess about with maps and stuff like that. But what I did determine was that the bike's geared too high now. So now it's got the 180 rear tyre on, it's a lot taller. And if I compare it with the other tyre there, look, you can see the difference. Well this was causing it to hold back in third and fourth. First gear was was awesome but it did still hang on a little bit longer so it really needs to be lower geared. I did mess about with a 42 tooth sprocket on a drag strip before there is a video about that further back I'll put a link in the description for that but then that was too low geared it didn't really make a difference on the quarter mile anyway because the bike had great torque but with the bigger rear tire on now it's suffering a little bit. So <laughs> I'd really like to actually get the gearing sorted out with this motor so I can test it on the track but I think my supercharger is going to turn up very shortly and there's not many test and tunes this year because the track's undergoing a lot of maintenance so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get there before the supercharger's on it with this motor in it but I have a cunning plan I'm actually going to make this video now and try it out on the street and I've also found a really cool gear ratio calculator on the internet, which should help. I do actually need a new chain anyway, because I'm gonna to have to go for a bigger, I'm putting a 42-2 sprocket on the back, and that's a lot bigger, so I'm gonna need a bigger chain, and I need a new one anyway. But I don't wanna buy a brand new chain and actually start chopping it to the right length until I know what gear rio shows I'm gonna have. So, I also have another cunning plan for today. Right, what I'm gonna do at the moment is just get a benchmark of where the gearing is, so I'm going to try it in second and fourth, or maybe third as well, at 3000 rpm. 3000, no, I can't tell. If I do 100 in fourth gear, it's actually 3500, so that should be easy to work out. Right, so what I've got here is I've got a gearing calculator on blocklayer.com so you basically you build your bike here with all the gear ratios and tire size and sprocket sizes and stuff and it'll tell you what speeds it's doing at what rpm so what we'll do first is we will actually put all the gear ratios in for the bobber i actually have them all here because i've got the haynes manual in front of me and that's actually got them all wrote down so that's what we'll do. The primary, that I believe is the gear which runs off the crankshaft to the um, clutch or gearbox or whatever. So you need to put that in. And that's 1.26. First gear is 3.5 to 1. Second gear is 2.5 to 1. Third gear... 1.85 fourth gear 1.48 fifth gear 1.3 and 1.17 to 1 for the sixth gear right and now this is the important bit for me especially I can put in a tire size so if I put in 180, 70, 16, and what we've got on the front, we've got at the moment, we've got a 16 tooth and a 37 tooth sprocket on the back, so 16 tooth front, 37, and then if I hit calculate, this will now tell me the different speeds at RPM, so let's, that's, our. 8,000 RPM, that's probably a bit much. Let's put that to 7,000. Okay. Oh no, let's move this one down to 7,000. Okay, so in sixth gear, 
at 7,000 RPM, my bike should be doing 255 kilometers an hour, which in miles an hour is 158. So what I want to do is I want to work out the best gear ratio for my bike because I was still going over the line in fourth gear and I was doing around 106 miles an hour. Oh, hang on. I didn't want to do that. Oh, yeah, we can do that. That's all right. We'll leave that like that. That's good. I had that as speed earlier. How do I change that? Okay, I don't. I'll just go down with the revs to, so 106 miles an hour, and it was doing around 5,900 RPM when I went over the line, I guess. But this, I need to calibrate this. Remember earlier I went out for a ride and at 3,500 RPM, we'll set that to 3,500. As close as I can get it, thereabouts. It was doing 100 kilometers an hour. So, shame I can't get that straight on 3,500, hey. That's the closest I can get it. And it's saying 101 kilometers an hour. So that's that's pretty close. So I'd say that was spot on. I'd say all this here is right. So what are we in? Fourth gear, 180, 70, 16, 16, tooth front, 37. Yeah. Right, so now what I want to do is I want to see what happens when I put my 42.2 sprocket on. So if I go there and put 42, then hit calculate. That's changed everything. So if I go to 106 miles an hour again, this time it would be going across the line at 6.740. So it is revving out a lot freer. And it will rev a lot freer in all the other gears and it will have much more torque with the lower gearing as well. So I might be able to get more speed out of it. So then to rev it out in fourth, in yeah, rev it out in fourth, it'll be doing 116 miles an hour which it probably wouldn't do with that motor in it. might might get close. Um, I'd hope for something around that, around between 110 and, and that, maybe. So that's quite a nice, nice gear, and I could actually keep it in fourth gear. And, of course, very shortly I'll be getting my supercharger. So the speed I expect to hit across the line with that would probably be, it'd be above 100, I know it'd be above 120 miles an hour. So let's say around 125, be nice. I know someone who's got the stage one set up on a Thruxton and he was doing 120 across the line. So if I went into fifth, I'll be doing 6,990 across the line. And in fourth gear, if I revved it out to seven, to the rev limiter there, that's around that, 116. Yeah, it'd be nice because it'd probably rev out a lot quicker in the, in the earlier gears and then I'd be in fifth for a little bit as well, so that's quite nice. And what about with a 17 tooth sprocket on the front? Let's see what happens there. Fourth gear. I reckon I could keep it in fourth gear with a supercharger on even. It'd be doing 123 and revving out. And then you've got another gear if you need it. You can maybe short shift in fourth or something. Let's see what happens here. This is changing gear at 7,000. So that works quite nice. Let's see what happens if we change gear. That's 7.4. Still within the power band, but around here it tends to drop off a bit. So, yeah, I reckon changing gear at 7,000 is better than revving up to 7.4. But anyway, with the 42.2 sprocket on, it's going to be pretty good. And if I make my chain the right length, then I can have it so I can have the six, so I can choose between the 16 tooth front sprocket or the 17 tooth. So, that's where we are with that. I don't think I'm going to get on the drag strip again with this Thruxton motor to see 
how much difference this makes but I'm definitely going to change the gearing because it's definitely way too high geared so that's what we're going to do the other thing I wanted to sort out as well was for using it on the street so in sixth gear uh, oh, 100 k's an hour let's put this to kilometers an hour now so 100 k's an hour I'd be doing 2940 RPM in sixth gear and then if I put the 16.2 sprocket on it hit calculate let's bring it up to 100 it'll be doing 3.1 so either one of them is okay right because I've been messing about with the gearing at the drag strip in the past with this I've actually got my chain on a split link so it makes it so much easier to mess about like this I've got it on a split link. Where is it? There it is. So right, makes it much easier to get the chain off now. And this forms part of my cunning plan as well. Can't remember how to do this. Put that in there. I just realised I don't actually need to take this off. My cunning plan involves not having to move that, so I'll do them back up again now. Right, now because it's a bigger sprocket on the back here, this chain is not going to fit. Sucking them all the way off. It ain't gonna. Oh, I might do. No, that's no good. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cheat. Rather than actually getting a new chain at this stage, I do have another split link. So, I'm gonna stick that in there and another bit of link left over from there. And that in there. And there you go, I've got two split links now. It's a bit dodgy, but it will do for now. Got my chain on the wrong way round, so I'm gonna have to do that all again now. Put the chain on the other way around. So, let's flip that over like that. That should. Right, so I've now got two spit links next to each other. What can go wrong? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get on a piece of road where I know how well the bike pulls. an hour in sixth gear. 
certainly have to change gear a lot more now. At 60 k's an hour it's doing 2,400 in fourth. But all I've got to do is go into fifth and yeah, it's a lot better. Well, not a lot better, but anyway. It's actually easier to do 40 k's an hour now. I was sort of in between two gears before because I do that a lot on a hard shoulder on the way to work. Um, I don't actually go to work anymore though, so it's not really important anyway. Alright, let's see what this pool's like now then. get my speed consistent and I know in the second gear. <laughs> that was fun. I can actually ride along just over 60 in sixth gear quite comfortably. I think it is a little bit too low geared. I might I'll put the 17 2 sprocket on and see what that's like. But it definitely pulls hard now. Much harder.